Hey guys, Justin Vinch, 55 Restorations here, and uh, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm uh, laughing because apparently my intro, when I get excited, makes my wife laugh who's filming this, and uh, now I'm all off topic. Anyways, um, I just finished up a uh, uh, Frigidaire, French door Frigidaire Imperial. Um, really cool, really rare, and I'm gonna give you guys a run through about it. Uh, it's not gonna be quite as informative as my other videos usually are because I can't find any information on this thing really. Um, as you can see, it's a double door, um, but it's a little bit different than, so th there's a couple different uh, vintage double doors, just a few of them though, with uh, pre, pre magnetic press latch handles, uh, pre, pre latch band is what I meant. Um, Futurama being one, which I'm just finishing up too. Dad, yeah, don't spend too much time on that. I'm going to do another video on that one soon. Um, but, uh, a full video on that. Um, Futurama is probably the most popular, uh, double door vintage fridge. There are a couple, uh, that were just like really strange, kind of not rare in a collectible sense, but rare and like, you just don't see them. They just didn't make very many of them. But uh, this one, I've never seen one. I've only heard one person that's even seen one in person. Um, and uh, so they're really cool. This is a 1955 Frigidaire made by General Motors. Um, they, uh, they were obviously a subsidiary of them. Um, this is a, the Cyclomatic, um, which is uh, just a, a, kind of like a, a frost-free uh, model. Uh, Imperial, which is their top of the line. Um, they had stoves, they had different size and set up refrigerators, they had freezers. Um, Imperial was basically just like the, you know, whiz bang, ooh, wow, lots of chrome, extra stuff version of their regular stuff. Um, but this is the double door, so obviously it opens. And unlike a Futurama that has a freezer on the left and a fridge on the right, this is all together. So both sides open to the same space. You're just half covering it. Um, beautiful though. I love this fridge. Um, so this is obviously the freezer. It's a cross top and it also has two doors so that if you have one door open, you can still open the freezer. Um, and, uh, you know, just a, a big, big space in there. Um, own latches. The, uh, the rose anodized shelving and containers and everything, these are all slide out. This is your meat container or meat, uh, meat box, thermostat, obviously. Um, crisper drawers down here. Um, the cool thing about this is the doors, really. Um, the, uh, uh, all the pieces are removable so that you can wash them. Um, Amazingly, all the pieces were in this when I got it. It was complete, um, which is just unheard of for any of these fridges, but even more unheard of, and luckily uh, for something this rare, because um, I wouldn't have been able to find these parts, period. Um, butter with a butter warmer uh, section, which this is actually, <laughs> I, I dialed it over so you could see, but you can't see temperature because you are sitting in front of your computer or phone. Um, but I'm telling you, this is warm in here right now. Um, it's, ah, well, it's not hot. But, um, this little dial right here controls your butter and it just makes it so you can spread it. It makes it, you know, so a stick of butter is actually usable. Um, really, my, my wife swears by them now. Um, she won't have a fridge without a butter warmer. Um, there's a cheese, cheese part. Um, obviously more drawers, more bottles, condiments, things like that. On this side, it's the same kind of shelves, but then it has these little keepers. Um, again, it had all of them and it had all the lids, it had all the shelves. And these were basically just early kind of Tupperware, um, but they fit specifically on these little metal shelves that also are removable so that you have little uh, containers. Um, the, the terrible part about doing this was that um, it has three different types of gaskets on it, door seals and, and things like that, which were really, really a pain. The uh, ones that were in here, uh, I could not find, were not available, um, but I found something that would work. The uh, 
ones on the standard, on this side of the door, these are standard E gaskets, bubble type gaskets. And those were, those were easy to find. Um, this is the one that was difficult. This is a very strange Frigidaire only gasket, um, but even more than that, it has this pole, this metal rod that goes through here and keeps it stiff. And then you, you have to put the gas, you have to thread it through the gasket, which is rubber and sticky, so I had to put a bunch of silicone in there to get it through. Um, and then once it's in there, it holds it stiff. And if you look, it actually hangs out about a half an inch. And that is because there's no center post in this fridge. There's nothing for that seal, that center seal, to seal against. So what you have to seal it against is the other gasket. And so both of these actually hang out quite a bit. It took me about an hour of adjusting to try to get these things to fit. And, uh, and they squish up against each other all the way down the middle. Um, really, really neat setup. Um, like I said, kind of a one, one of setup. Um, all the other double doors that did exist, which weren't common by any means, uh, had a center section of some sort um, to seal. So this is kind of a weird, rare setup, um, even though it's really common to us nowadays. Um, side-by-side -side freezers is you know really common now wasn't then but uh, this thing is really neat um, it's actually going to be going to Betty Crocker's estate um, a couple customers uh, a couple came in and they, they bought her estate and they're gonna set it up as kind of a museum I think uh, it's kind of cool it's gonna go to Betty Crocker's kitchen a good fitting place for such a cool fridge um, but uh, yeah, just just really cool. I wish I had more information for you, uh, other than it's a, uh, I know it's a 55, but um, other than that, I haven't ever seen one in person, and I've done over 300 of these refrigerators now, and uh, it's just really cool. I wanted to show you guys, um, behold the glory of the uh, French door Frigidaire, and uh, yeah, really cool, but it's heading off to its new home tomorrow. Uh, Justin, finish 55 restorations, and I'll see you guys later.